If you think Five Nights at Freddy's is scary, you should spend some time with my creepy uncle Nick. It's not gonna take five nights to get his message across. It'll just take one. You'll, you'll, you'll figure it out after one. Anyway, let's talk about Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's is based on the hit video game franchise called Checks Notes. Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. That makes sense. The best way to really watch this movie is to go out, get some Five Guys and Fries, then watch Five Nights at Freddy's. It just lines up. Everything with Five in it's great. You have the two things I mentioned, plus Take Five Gum. Freaky Five Day, I believe it's called. Fivel. A stretch, but we're counting it. The Fifth Element. All right, so Five Nights... Oh, Chica, hi! Chica's here, everyone, from the, from the movie and the games. How's it going, Chica? <laughs> That's great. Chica says you should subscribe to the channel, Adam Does Movies, which is right here on YouTube. That way, you don't miss any movie reviews that I do in the future. Thanks, Chica. You don't need to kill me now. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's continue. Josh Hutcherson's back, baby. No longer Pita Bread from the Hunger Games movies. Seriously think that's the last time I saw this actor in anything. He has an age today. The guy looks great. Granted, he's not in a great place in his life in this film. He's raising his sister. He's got some baggage with his family. He lost a brother back in the day. And now he's working nights at some sketchy Chuck E. Cheese knockoff nightmare. Now, believe it or not, I'm not really into Five Nights at Freddy's. I never played it. I'm familiar. I know there's a whole bunch of games. They're very successful. But I do have kids. I have a 14-year-old daughter, 11-year-old son. They are more familiar with it than I am. My son specifically likes it. He's never actually, I don't think, played the mainline games. He's only played crappy versions off Roblox. Why do people like Roblox? Can we talk about this for a second? The graphics are ass. The game plays trash. There's like a billion games that are all awful. I, I just, I don't understand. There are so many good games being made all the time now. Why do the kids like Roblox? So that they can have predators go after them? Is that the new thrill? I, 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 we gotta move on. Anyway, I call him a passive fan. Not a, not a true fan. None of us are. So you will already dismiss this if you like this movie or if you're thinking about seeing it. And that's fine. Walk away. Don't listen to me. I'm a movie critic. I'm not specialized in a video game movie adaptation. I take the movie at face value. So what did I think of it? I didn't think much. I didn't think much at all. I thought, all right, it's kind of playful, but it's also very serious and has a very disturbed storyline that I'm not sure why they went so deep with. Like this could have been a very fun, silly, engaging, quick little romp through the ball pit. Oh, there's scary machines, scary animatronics coming to life and they're terrorizing this old place. Cool. People die, sweet. I like that. I love when people die. That's fun. But this just wasn't, this, this is just so middling all around. It tried to go the drama angle, but that stuff didn't really stick for me. It had fun occasionally. I would have liked that pulled in more. So we have a PG-13 affair that's neither that fun nor that disturbing, it's just this kind of mediocre mess. And when I say mess, I am all in on that phrase because holy hell this script is a nightmare and not in the good way, not in the fun, scary way. No, nightmare as in this doesn't even make sense at all. There's so many plot holes, there's so many things that don't add up when it's all over. I just don't understand the point. Was, is this what the game's like? Is this really what the game is like, people that play it and have seen the movie? I don't want to spoil things, I guess. I care enough to not spoil it. But please let me know in the comments if it has anything to do with, like, little children getting lost and somehow that tying into these creatures. That's in the trailer, so I'm not, I'm not ruining anything there. So story sucks. Let's talk about the visuals. This is where I think the movie shines. I think it looks really good. I like the look of this thing, especially the later half when it gets a little bit more neon. It does, I have seen plenty of video footage of the video games, and it definitely has a resemblance in the later half when things get a little bit more dark and disturbing, although it never goes in a place I'd like it to, because again, it's hampered by the PG-13. It's gotta be PG-13, there's no way this is R. 
And adding to the playful factor of it, I like some of the music that was infused into this thing, but I needed like two or three more jams. They reused one of the songs two or three times, and I just thought, you know what, we could have maybe licensed out one or two other hits from the 90s or 80s. I mean, come on. As for the characters themselves, you have a giant creepy bear, there's a little duck running around, a fox with an eye patch. I, they all look fantastic. They all look really good. Uh, the practical effects shines in this movie. I have no complaints there at all. It's just not scary. And again, this is skewing younger audience age, obviously, more towards the, the goosebumps, I would say. And in that sense, it's, it's okay, it's fine. I had my kids specifically review the out of theater reaction that you can find in the shorts area, and both of them thought it was just meh. They were not that into it. My son, I think, was really let down. When the movie started, he's at a 10. He's loving this movie, and then it starts to slowly go through the motions, because we gotta get through five nights of this, and they can't have anything too extreme happen until later, so it's just spinning its wheels, and as it's moving along, I can see him just kinda getting less interested until the final act. Um, and he scored it, I think he, he ended up leaving with an 8 out of 10, then as we're leaving the theater, he's down to a 7, then when I started rolling, he turns into a 6.5 out of 10. <laughs> and as an 11 year old, a 6.5 out of 10 is more like a 4 out of 10, because they're very generous with their scores. And I think that's about where I would end up if I actually gave ratings. Uh, 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, it's serviceable enough, but there's just really nothing here to excite me at all or to recommend people watch it unless you're a hardcore fan of Five Nights at Freddy's and you like the lore and you like the easter eggs there are easter eggs in the movie of course there are references to the games that I didn't understand I'm sure uh, but you know top level just nothing there for me if you have kids and you're not sure if you should take them to the theaters for this, again, mine was 11, he was easily old enough for this movie. I think you could get away with a, a nine-year-old checking this out, maybe even push eight. It is also on Peacock. I found that out after I dropped $40 on the tickets and snacks and stuff. So that's fun. I pay for Peacock. I could have checked it out in the cock with the family. We wouldn't have had to go to theaters. So maybe think about that. If you don't want to go to the theaters with the miserable audience, you can just sit right home on your couch Check it out on the cock. Check it out on the P. What a great name. What a great name for an app. Last thing I'll say are the kills themselves. There's a couple of them that are pretty fun and unique, but we do get cutaway kills too, which I just do not appreciate. We get, we get a couple cutaway kills because of that rating, so you don't really know exactly how the person died. Well, you know how they died. You just don't get to experience the magic of it. Uh, there, there is one or two though that I did enjoy. Overall, meh. Just completely meh. Let me know in the comments though, am I way off and this is just an absolute win all around? Please let me know. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie reviews, live streams, reactions, roasts, all sorts of movie related stuff every single week. We'd love to have you stick around. All right, now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go play Marvel's Spider-Man 2, a man's game on Roblox. It's a recreation.